Hi, Andreas from Total here. Now, Total lets you add your custom domain to your Total application using whatever domain register you prefer. This is important to understand that it's a feature only of our paid account. So if you're on a free account, you'll have to upgrade to use this. Let me show you how it's done. So I'm going to go in here, I have my project list in Total, um, and I'm going to search for the project Andreas because that is the one I want to upgrade. And here I'm on my project details page where I can see all my branches, uh, et cetera. Uh, and I'm going to go and click this link down the bottom saying edit domains. And this is going to take me to the domains page where I can see all the domains currently registered for this. And we can see I have my andreas.total.site, the default, and it also actually always comes once on main, uh, but this one is generally not used. Now, the domain I want to add is uh, in here from, uh, I've got name.com loaded up, uh, and I've got this domain, uh, andreas.social. And here I'm going to add the domain www.andreas.social. That's the domain I wish to add. Now that I've done that, Total is going to uh, give us some instructions that we need to do on the domain register part, right, on the other side. And the first thing is we need to add this CNAME record. And we've got a custom value we need here, say custom.domain.total aside. That's going to be the same for everyone. And we can copy it by clicking here. And I'm going to go and I'm going to add a new record. So I've loaded up my domain register. I've gone into the DNS settings. Uh, for the domain I want to use, and I'm now adding a new record. And this one is called a CNAME record, and the host here is going to be www. Now, most of the time, hosts are just, or like DNS uh, providers here, are just going to want you to type in the what we call the subdomain, the first half, and they'll automatically add the last bit. And be aware of that. When you copy a domain from Total, it's going to copy the whole thing, but depending on your uh, platform or the, the main register you have, um, this might work a tiny bit different, but you can usually read uh, the instructions to get to where you need, right? So we'll add www here and paste in the custom domain that toddled the site. I'm going to click add record. The time to live here is fine. Um, one thing to note is that Toddle today only supports CNAME, and CNAME records generally should always have a subdomain. Uh, name.com add some warnings here saying for example email like what you have mx record when you set up your custom email for your domain they won't work with what's called a bear or a root c name um domain so if i i can just add andreas to social but then i can't want email off this so just be aware that you do need a subdomain for this you can generally set up redirects so if you go in a browser to that domain it'll automatically redirect uh, to www and thereby you can still type in address the social to go to your app but just be aware that this is not something um you can do today create set up a bare name because it we only support CNAME. right now that we've done that we're going back to our domain site and we can see it already found that and it says done it means it's checked that this record exists on the domain provider uh, and verified it. And the next step is now we need to set up HTTPS. So HTTPS essentially allows you to connect securely to this application and create an encrypted connection. But in order to do that, you need to create what's called a SSL certificate or HTTPS certificate. Um, Total can automatically manage that, but it needs to be able to verify that your domain, that the domain, domain name you're actually giving it is the one it claims to be. Uh, so it issues this what's called a challenge. Um, and all you need to do to fix this is essentially just saying create this TXT tile record. So just like we did before, in this case, I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to go back. I'm going to create a TXT record and paste this in. And here we have to be aware that we need to remove the last bit, right? Because we don't want a duplicate. So we're going to remove those last two. And then we're going back and copying the value here. And just click the button. You don't obviously don't need to try and type it, right? And all we need to do now is create that as well. And Toddle will then go and read that and saying, ah, okay, so this domain is actually who they say they are, and I can now issue this certificate uh, for the, on behalf of them, um, and I can do that securely. It is going to take a little while. Uh, it generally takes up to two minutes, sometimes a little bit longer for this to happen. Um, when it's done, this is going to change to verified.
and there we are it's all done it's verified and if we now go to www.andreas.social we're going to see my beautiful website thank you very much for watching uh subscribe if you want to see more of these videos and um can't wait to see what you're going to build with Toddle.